Hello and welcome back to my top 85 games for the BBC Micro video series. In at number 79 is a game called Dodgems. Now, uh, in common with Snake, which we looked at a couple of videos ago, Dodgems was released uh, by Acornsoft and it came out uh, in the same um, compilation as Snake. Uh, called Fun Games, which uh, was released in, co in uh, coordination with BBC Soft. Um, Dodgems was actually a clone uh, of a pre-existing arcade game called Head On, uh, which, in common with another game we've uh, seen in this series so far, was released by Gremlin uh, in combination with Sega. Sega! And uh, Head On, yes, it was... Uh, pretty revolutionary at the time. It was the first game to feature a maze uh, with dots which you had to collect. Now you may think to yourself that there is some familiarity with that concept. It would later go on to um, be the sort of guiding principle of possibly the most famous game that there has ever been, Pac-Man. Um, but we're not looking at Pac-Man this time, we're looking at Dodgems which is, if you like, an intellectual uh, ancestor to Pac-Man, um, but obviously Dodgems was for the BBC Micro and Aconsoft chose to release it under that name rather than Head On, uh, which was the uh, the name of the original Gremlin game. So without further ado, let's have a look at Dodgems. All right, let's load up Dodgems. There we are, Aconsoft 1982. So there's the instructions, fairly straightforward. Um, so you've got ZX for left and right, and uh, colon and forward slash for up and down, and space for accelerate. So we'll see uh, whether or not that one comes into play uh, as we as we start going through. Um, now you'll see that return for start after crash, I will be using that one quite a lot. So here we go. Here's our grid. And our little, that's, I'm the red car there on the uh, left hand side. So the aim of this game is to collect all of the dots without that happening. So the computer is controlling the uh, the pink car there, and it uh, obviously will try to crash into you. That's its sole aim. It doesn't uh, collect the dots, as you can see. So all it wants to do is make life difficult for you by uh, smashing into you at every nearest, nearest available opportunity. Now the computer is at a slight disadvantage because it can only move one lane at a time through this maze. Whereas if I hold down the left or right keys, um, I can actually go uh, two lanes like that which obviously is a big help when trying to avoid the computer. And it also gives you some way of... I was going to say guess guess where the computer's going to go, but obviously that didn't quite work out for me. So let's try using the accelerate this time and see how much that... Oh, there we go, look at that. So you actually have to hold the space bar down, obviously, to apply the accelerator, as you would expect with an accelerator. But it does mean that you can pretty much whiz round before the computer gets a chance to change lanes and crash into you, which is rather handy. So we'll see how we get on with this maze. Obviously, you can see there's a number one in the middle there. Um, that indicates the fact that we're on level one at the moment and uh, it will increment if we ever do get past level one but I will warn you I am not particularly good at this game uh, so it does, uh, it does require a certain amount of concentration from me to actually stand a chance of getting out alive oh dear there we go well I came pretty close but not quite not quite enough so let's give it another try. I will warn you for anybody that's thinking about playing this game, it is incredibly addictive. Um, I played this for a good half an hour just to sort of warm up before making this video. Um, I didn't intend to play it for that long. I just thought, oh yes, I'll give it a quick go just to remind myself of the controls. Um, but once you start playing it, a bit like Pringles, uh, you, you just can't stop because it's actually remarkably addictive. You just want to beat the computer, <laughs> especially when it is so easy to lose, as you can see. Now, I did actually manage to clear level one uh, in my practice run before starting this video, but given that it took me nearly half an hour to do, um, I may end up having to do a bit of creative editing here because, um, as with the previous video squares, I don't imagine that you've got a huge tolerance for just watching me collect dots on a screen. Uh, exciting though this game is. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those games I, I can remember playing it actually 
um, long after uh, having played games like Pac-Man and similar games to Pac-Man. Um, so I, I didn't actually, uh, or wasn't in the same position as people who might have played head-on in the arcades back in the late 70s. Um, but I loved it. I mean, from the time that I uh, first got it for my Beeb, um, I thought this game was great. Uh, it, it, uh, it was really, really catchy. Uh, you know, it, it just accelerates into the computer, why not? Um, yeah, it's, it's really addictive, it's really fun, um, it's quite a simple gameplay, but as I say, if you do give it a go yourself, you will find that it, it really kind of hooks you in, and you, you, yeah, you just really want to win. After a while, you just think, look, I want to just get around this maze, I want to get all these dots before that computer bashes into me. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's uh, it's not easy. You know, I have to say, it is not an easy game. Uh, it is very easy to crash, as I am demonstrating with a plum. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to um, potentially do a little bit of a sneaky edit now. Um, I might uh, start recording again if I get close to winning the game. So in the meantime, don't go away. Okay. Well, that wasn't an opportune moment to uh, start recording again. I thought I was going to get close there, as you can see, I've only got a few dots left. Uh, but the computer still bested me, so let's see if we can do any better. I've worked out that uh, the use of the accelerator is definitely the key to victory here. So if you uh, basically keep your foot on the throttle and then just blitz your way around, um, it does tend to... Ooh, that was a system beep there from my uh, PC. Um, yeah, it does tend to help, so let's see if we can... Uh, Oh no, no, no. I have to say, I do like that crash sound. It's, uh, it's rather it's rather sort of pleasing sound, um, which is just as well because I'm hearing it rather a lot. So uh, yes, it's definitely an improvement on the uh, cheery jingle that you get at the end of uh, Snake. Okay, I seem to be doing the same thing over and over again. That's a uh, recipe for madness, clearly. Okay, let's see if we can uh, maybe take it a little bit more sedately and... Perhaps the key is really just to use the accelerator sparingly when you are uh, about to avoid... Ah, I'm going to say avoid collision, but uh, that didn't uh, quite work out. So we'll just speed round here and then quickly... Oh, no. Nope. Yes, I have to say, having played this now for quite a while, the um, the keys are a little bit sticky, and I don't think it's... Uh, I don't think that's the emulator's fault. I think, I think perhaps the... Um, the keyboard buffer on this game is a little bit slow and sometimes you you kind of got your finger on left and it just isn't moving the car um, so it's either a case of that or the game is just particularly uh, precise about when you have to turn um, so let's see it's, the computer is making its way in slowly so let's try and avoid collision there Okay, let's get out to the outer circle. Okay, and quickly zoom round. No, oh, no! Oh dear. All right, I think we might have to apply a little bit more editing again, folks. So uh, please join me again in a few minutes. Okay. Ah. You see, I think in just initiating the record for this, <laughs> I tempt fate. Ah oh, dear. Well, we're going to give it a few more tries and. Uh, if not, I think uh, I might have to call it a day. I will warn you that uh, completing a level is in no way uh, a particularly <laughs> memorable moment. Um, it literally just <laughs> redraws the grid again, puts a 2 in the middle instead of a 1, and uh, the computer gets a bit faster. That's uh, that's pretty much the, uh, the extent of what, what happens when you complete a level. Um, I believe it's one of those games that just keeps going, so... There's no sort of end credits or uh, anything like that to look forward to. Um, it really is just a case of play it for as long as you can tolerate, I suppose. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, I mean, when this uh, came out as an arcade game, I, I think that uh, obviously you, you didn't have to just play the computer. You could play somebody else. And I suspect that as a two-player game, it's, uh, it's actually probably even more fun because um, obviously there's the enjoyment of crashing into uh, your friend or sibling and uh, yeah it's it's probably just a more enjoyable game than trying to play against this computer who just seems to know all the right moves if I'm honest um, he's not really giving me much of a break here uh, even though I have come close a few times since I started the video I'm not quite reaching those heady heights that I managed in the uh, in the practice run sadly but um, well, well we'll we'll stick with it for a little bit longer 
I might uh, I might do a little bit more editing again uh, if it does become a bit too tiresome. Um, so I appreciate that uh, people that are interested in watching these videos are largely just interested in sort of seeing what the game's about. Don't necessarily want to watch me playing it ad infinitum. Um, but uh, I do like to, you know, wherever possible, complete at least a level of a game or or get to a, you know a significant point in the game that you don't just get by firing up the game and starting to play. Just because I feel like that's uh, doing a bit more of a more of a service than just simply watching me play the game. But I'm not sure that Dodgems is going to let me have that pleasure on this occasion. Um, I think it's uh, I think it's decided that uh, I'm not going to be uh, successful. And you know, it's a little bit late in the evening, so I imagine that my reflexes are probably not quite as sharp as uh, they were earlier when I was playing it in the practice run. So I think we'll probably leave it there. Um, that's Dodgems. Uh, I hope uh, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and watching me crash an awful lot. Um, and I'm going to leave this psychedelic flashing screen as I say goodbye. Um, that was game 79. And join me next time for game 78.